You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for Rue Anemone, Thelictrum thelictroides. Rue Anemone is a spring ephemeral. This means it pops up early in the spring season, before deciduous trees fully develop their leaves for the year. Native to eastern and central portions of North America, Rue anemone grows in open, wooded areas. Even when I know where the plant grew last year, I still have difficulty locating the first instance of the plant coming up through the leaf litter in the spring. It usually becomes noticeable when it just begins to bloom. The small white flower can be seen against the backdrop of green or reddish green Rue anemone leaves or the dead brown leaves on the ground. You can find Rue anemone plants growing singly in an area. Or you might see a large group of plants growing more closely together. The Rue anemone plants bloom for three to four weeks. Then they develop seed pods and usually die within another six or seven weeks. The plant stands no more than four inches tall. Its stem is thin and wiry looking. The leaves are compound and contain three leaflets. In this photo, it is difficult to distinguish individual leaves as they are so closely clustered. So let's pick out a single compound leaf. Here we can see the three leaflets of a single leaf. Each leaflet has a petiolule, while the entire leaf has a petiole what we commonly think of as a leaf stem. The center leaf's petiolule is longer than the two side leaves' petiololes. This is not too easy to see in this photo, so be on the lookout for the varying petiole lengths as you look at more images in this video. If we look more broadly in the photo's background, we can see two more petioles for two more leaves on this same rue anemone. Here are some young leaves, which are still a bit folded and which have more pointed tips on the leaflets. And here are some older leaves, which are more flat with rounded leaflet tips. Can you distinguish different compound leaves within this entire grouping? Let's study a single rue anemone leaflet. The margin is toothed or lobed at the tip while it is typically smooth along the sides. The base of the leaflet might be straight, or it might be indented where the petiolule attaches. Look carefully to see the venation. It's palmate. The veins arise from a single point at the base of the leaflet. Rue anemone likes to do things in threes. Three leaflets per leaf, groups of three leaves arising from the same point and three flowers arising from the same place on the stem. The center flower blooms first. Later, the two flowers on either side bloom. They're usually smaller than the center flower. Here's a new flower just opening its petals. And another. As the petals spread apart, we see the central portion of the flower with its reproductive parts. Initially, the stamens with their yellow-green color are crowded around the pistils. As the flower matures, the stamens extend from the center with their white filaments, their little stalks, and the anthers become covered with pollen. The outermost stamens grow out first, and eventually all the stamens lengthen and share their pollen. Okay. Now, let's get really close to the center of this small rue anemone flower. Here are the stamens surrounding the pistils. In this image, we can see some of the stamens have pollen on them. And now, let's look at the pistils. Some rue anemone flowers have as few as three pistils. Others have more pistils. Some have loads of pistils. You can just see the thin line designating the opening in the pistil stigma and tiny hairs edging the stigma. After fertilization, the pistils develop and become the seed pods. For a time, the seed pods are surrounded by the dying stamens. 
Gradually, the stamens shrivel and drop off. The petals also drop to the ground. And the group of seed pods remain on the plant for several more weeks while the seeds continue to develop. Eventually, the rue anemone leaves turn yellow as they die, and the entire plant disappears until early next spring. Now, I want to share with you some wonderful rue anemone variations. First, let's look at a flower which has many more petals than a typical rue anemone flower. Then, there are the rue anemone flowers with narrow petals. And some rue anemones have stamens tipped with anthers of a different color, like brown or red-brown. or pink, or red, and even with pink stamens. Now here is my absolute favorite rue anemone variation. It looks like a tiny light pink carnation. Each of these variations appeared growing near other more typical rue anemone plants. Sometimes there would be more than just one of these varied plants. There would be a group of them which obviously had reproduced the variation from prior generations. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Thelictrum thelictroides, also known as rue anemone. Visit IdentifyThatPlant.com for more images of rue anemone, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.